everyone and welcome again to my youtube channel in this video i will explain how to put the film in this camera this is the gonoflex and uh, that is a tlr so if you have a tlr camera this video can be useful for you because the steps are basically very similar or almost the same so uh, stay to see all the video First of all, I want to share with you that I'm going to use again uh, Lomography. This is a really good company that uh, still do films. So they have uh, 35 millimeters, 120 millimeters and another size. But in this case, we will use the 120 millimeters because of the camera. As you know, um, mostly all the TLRs are 120 millimeters. I think all of them. So basically, this is a black and white with an ISO 400. Lomography, it's one of my favorite companies for films. So I really recommend it. I stay really uh, with the Lady Grey and the other one that I show you with the 35 uh, millimeters. It was early gray so basically my favorite is black and white so I guess when I do films I really want to have that black and white all the essence so that's why this is my favorite so I really recommend it if you don't know where to buy it you can buy it in Amazon or you can buy it directly in the company of Lomography so uh, this film is already open because I made a mistake <laughs> with this film but it's okay because I can show you how the film is uh, inside and I would use this camera that is my Gonoflex. Uh, it's from the 50s that I say in the previous video. If you want to see the previous video that I talk a little bit about the camera and the story and everything, just click in the link in here. Uh, it's in Spanish, but you can find the video as well uh, with subtitles in English. So this is the film. Remember to buy the 120 millimeters. This is different than the 35 so as it's already ruined don't do this in a good film please i'm just going to show you what it's inside so basically this is just a paper really um thick paper that actually covers the actually film but the film is here so as you see it's a really long film and do not have the tiny holes like the 35 millimeters and basically in here is where you are going to have the exposure of your photo and the paper is just to cover and protect the film so it's really different than the 35 and to be honest in this film i think it has kind of like a different um finish it's, it's, it's quite nice i really like the 120 millimeters let's start to put it in the camera so let me move this so remember that this camera has two lenses. One is to actually take the photo and one is to focus, as I say in the previous video. So to open the camera, first of all, we need to uh, rotate this until the open is aligned with this. And you will see that actually you can pull this to open it. So you will see two parts in here. You need to have this part because uh, it's really important to put the film. You will see why. So your camera needs to have two rolls. This one that is empty and the new one that is in your film. Okay. So basically in the TLRs is different. Maybe you need to put the film instead of here. But this is the Gonoflex. But just check where the counter is and where is the direction of the film if the direction is that side then the new films will be here because you are going to pull the film to that direction and if your rotator is in this side and is going to this direction then the new film needs to put it in here but in this case uh, you need to put the new film in this part so you need to put the film in here and then you are going to pull this part to put the film. Be sure that this one is completely located in here and you will see that it's already placed. Okay, the next one, the, the next step that you are going to do is to pull this part to the next part of this empty roll 
that's why it's super important. So you will see that you have these tiny spaces here, and then you put this part inside that spaces. Really careful. Okay, once the tiny part in here is inside of the roll, you need to start rolling it and help it a little bit until it is working by itself. Okay, this is really important. Your film has a lot of indicators here, the start and everything. So you need to find the part of your camera that has these indicators, like in here I have it in red. Maybe you have this tiny uh, in um, dots in red, or maybe you have arrows, or maybe you have it in white. But you need to see where it's indicated in here. In this case, I have it the indication in here. That means that I need to roll the film until the lines in here. This, these arrows indicate where are going to be placed or where I need to stop to close it and it's already prepared. So don't go forward because you will see this and this means that it's already exposed. Your film is already exposed. If you see a one or just these indicators, it means that it's already exposed. So basically you don't need to see this one because you already ruined the film uh, number one and number two, probably number three and a little bit of the four because it's exposed to light. So be sure that you stop in the red dots and the arrows. So let me pull back the, the, the film because I needed to do it again to be sure that it's well placed. Okay, now we are back to the correct step. So remember the arrows need to be stopped in your indicators of the camera. As I say, your camera will have different indicators, maybe red dots, if there are red dots, definitely it's that indicator. If there are maybe um, white lines or something, just check the indicator that you have in your camera. So basically your film is ready to go. So you need to close it and be really sure to pull this down and move it to shoot because that ensure that in this part is completely sealed and you will not have light going inside. Now it's ready to take photos. As this film is not working, um, I will show you how to roll the photo and everything. So basically in here you will have the indicator when it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exposures. Uh, this specifically has 12 exposures. So basically when it's 12, it's finished and just roll it and you will hear it. So let's to do a quick recap about how to use the camera. So remember that if you want to do a shoot, you need to see the uh, photo in here. So this is your viewer. And in here, remember that you will see with this lens, but the camera will take the photo with this lens. So in here is basically for the aperture. So we have the less aperture is 3.5 and the maximum is 22. You have like here the velocity, you have the highest velocity is 300 and it has the capacity to do the boom as well. And this one is the timer. If you want to shoot it, uh, to shoot it with a um, timer, then just press this, um, this button. And when you already have the settings, for example, you want to shoot at 100 with a 5.6 a uh, aperture then you are ready to take the photo and then you pull this part it means this one is ready to take a shoot and then just press this button and you took the photo okay so this is the shooter and this is uh, the letter to um, to prepare the camera to take a photo okay so basically the other buttons in here 
Remember that this is to pull the film. Once you have the other number here, you pull the film until it marks number two. Uh, and as well, when you are uh, having the roll already, you need to roll it because in here it needs to appear number one. And then um, in here, remember that it's to focus your objective. So basically that's it. And then you probably are asking, okay, how can I be sure to have the correct exposure? Well, in this case, this camera, as is the 50s, <laughs> you didn't have a exposure meter included in the camera. So you have two options. You can buy an exposure meter uh, that it sell in Amazon as well. And as well, you have the other option to download an app. I actually use my cell phone and this, uh, this application that actually works really well. So if you want to download that application, you can use it as well. So basically what the exposure meter is going to do, I mean, with the light meter is going to do, sorry, it's light meter. Um, basically, you just uh, point it in the direction that you are going to take the photo and that is going to measure the light and it will tell you, okay, if you want to shoot at an aperture of 5.6, then you need to do a um, velocity of 100, for example. Basically, it's going to show you according with which aperture or which speed, then which setting you need to use according with the light that it's there. Okay, so if you want to start taking photos, basically what you need to do is, if you have already here one, then you put your settings, pull this down, take one photo, and then you are going to move the counter until it says two, and then take another photo, etc. If you want to do double exposures, which I really recommend that you experiment with double exposure, it's really, really easy with this one because you just need to pull the leather and then do it again, and then you have a double exposure. But if you don't want to have a double exposure, please don't forget to round this part, to turn this part. Okay, so when the film is done, let me roll it. Okay. So when the film is done, then you need to open it again. Protect your lenses, always. To open it again, and then you will see that the film is here. So you will see that this um, already rolled. So be really careful when you take it out. So just pull here, and then it's finished. So I say that is exposed, that means that this film is already used. And as well, when you are going to, if you are going to take it to a store to develop it, or if you are going to develop it by yourself, you know that this film is already used. Basically, you finish, you have your film with all your exposures and your photos ready to take it to develop it. If you don't know where to develop it, uh, just comment below and then let me know where are you from and then I will let you know the nearest store. Maybe you can send it by uh, cheap it to the store or maybe there is a store near you. So just comment below and let me know where uh, is your country and your city and I will let you know where to send it. So you are ready to use your TLR. Remember if you don't have the Gonoflex but you have maybe the Rolleflex or um, um, or or another TLR. Remember that basically the steps are almost the same, so you can follow this video and use uh, your TLR. And if you have any other questions about how to use this camera, just comment below and let me know if I can help you in anything. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope that this video can help you in anything. And if you have any comments, please, I will be happy to replay all your doubts. And if you have any questions, or I didn't explain something, just let me know and I will reply. And as well, if you have a special video on a special camera that you want to know how to use it, just comment as well and I will be happy to do a video. So thank you very much for watching and really important, don't forget to subscribe and remember to click the bell so you have the, um, the email and the warning like, hey, Kim Garza already uploaded a new video so you can watch it. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Ciao!